Peppa and Daddy Pig are baking a cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy, this doesn't look like a chocolate cake to me. Hmm, you're right, Peppa. Oh, I know. Well done, Peppa. How could we forget the chocolate? Now we just have to mix it. Oh! Uh oh! oh. Peppa and Daddy Pig are trying again to make a yummy chocolate cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. This looks perfect, Peppa. Now all we have to do is get the mixture in the tin. One, two, three! Mmm, oh. that would have been a very yummy cake. Oh dear, it seems making a cake can be tricky. Finally, our cake is ready for the oven, Peppa. Hooray! Now we just have to wait. Hooray! Our cake is done! Cake! Cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Mummy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper. This really is the perfect chocolate cake. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! Okay then. Everybody in. Off we go. Stop! What is it, Peppa? Daddy, we forgot our bikes. Oh dear, we can't leave without those. Let's try that again, shall we? You surely we have everything now. Hooray! Daddy Pig, Ooh. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George oh. have arrived at their campsite. Wow! I love the forest. Why don't you and George ride your bikes for a bit while Daddy Pig and I set up camp? Yay! Come on, George! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I like our campsite, Daddy Pig. Me too. Now, who is hungry? Me! Me! It is already time for dinner. Mummy? Do you know any campfire songs? Hmm, I know this song. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Bong, bong bing, bing boo, boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Campfire dinner is served. <laughs> Hooray! Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Peppa. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Peppa and George. Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Right, Daddy? That's right, Peppa. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh! Peppa, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it, Mummy, read it. 
dear Peppa and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too, but it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. Post is here. Oh, there is no post today. Oh, surprise! Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Peppa. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. Wow! Look at that tree! It's almost as big as our house. And what big presents! I wonder what could be inside. I bet it's a helicopter. Dinosaur! <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Madam Gazelle. What are you singing? We're carol singing. Want to try? I would love to, but George and I need to find a special Christmas present for Mummy. Why don't you try the Christmas pudding stall? My mum loves Christmas pudding. That's a very good idea, Candy. Come on, George. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Would you like to try some of my famous Christmas pudding? Yes, please. I love Christmas pudding. Here you go. Yum, yum. It's so delicious. I'm glad you like it. Daddy, do you think this would be a good present for Mummy? I think it would be a lovely present, but it's not that easy to wrap a pudding. Why don't we try over there? I think I saw some fluffy slippers that Mummy would like. Great idea! These slippers are so soft and fluffy. Mummy's feet are going to be so warm. Daddy Pig helps Pepper and George wrap the slippers for Mummy. George has the very important job of putting the colourful ribbon on top. Now we can put Mummy's surprise presents under the tree. There! Now Mummy has two surprises to open on Christmas Day. Oh good! It stopped raining! You're right, Pepper. Come on, George. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We can go down the slide together. Ready, George? Slide! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's only a little mud. Look at all those muddy puddles. Puddles! <laughs> Watch me! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. You try, George. Whee! George loves jumping in muddy puddles too. Wow, that's the biggest puddle I've ever seen. <laughs> Me first. Oh dear, I seem to be stuck. Don't worry, Daddy. We can get you out. Pull! Pull! Almost there! Oh dear! Now we're all stuck in the muddy puddle. This must be the muddiest day ever! <laughs> <laughs> Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. 
Pepper and George love to splash in the sea, almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Oh, that looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Hmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Pepper. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog, can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Peppa, what was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. Go on, Peppa. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George, but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome. It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go. Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know, you forgot to untie the balloon from the ground. Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry Daddy Pig, the hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me. Here we go. Up, up and away. Careful, Pepper. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow! And look, there's our house. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear, where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. Your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is, your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Any sign of Teddy, George? No. Hmm. Someone is at the door. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Teddy. It's Susie Sheep and Mummy Sheep. Oh, hello Susie. Hello Peppa. Hello George. I like your hats. We are being detectives. Do you want to play? Ooh, yes please. What mystery are we trying to solve, Peppa? We are trying to find Teddy. She has gone missing, but we are following her Teddy Prince. Where could she be? Could she be in here? She's not in here either. Whee! Maybe Teddy is hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I give up. Teddy is lost forever. Peppa! 
George, Susie, come quick! Mummy Pig has found more teddy prints. Ooh, these prints are leading outside, Pepper. Hmm. Look, they are heading toward our little red car. you are, Teddy. What are you doing in here? That was silly of you to stay in the car, Teddy. The case of the missing Teddy is officially solved. Hooray! 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 Well, they're called jellyfish. Mmm, jelly! <laughs> they're not made of real jelly, George. <laughs> They're so wibbly wobbly. Shall we see what we can find in the next room? Yes, let's go! <laughs> in the next room, Pepper spots a very strange looking creature. Oh, what's that? That's an octopus. George is a little bit afraid of the octopus. Don't worry, George. The octopus isn't going to hurt you. Look at how many legs it's got. Why don't you try and count them? OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, Pepper. Oh, look, Pepper. There's your friend, Susie. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. Are you looking at all the fish in the aquarium too? Yes, but I think this tank is empty. No, Susie. Don't do that. You'll scare the fish. You were right, Pepper. Wow. That's a really big fish. Fishy! <laughs> the big fish splashed us! <laughs> what a naughty fish! Let's get you little fishies home and dry. Pepper and George love the aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. This is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh dear, it looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends and welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you and we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig. Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! What should we do first, Susie? Um... The Ferris wheel? Yes! 
Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please. Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig! Madam Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair, and you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard! Peppa must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. <laughs> Whoa. Amazing work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho. We should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. Oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Peppa, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Peppa? That's one of my favourite subjects. Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves. What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> Wow, these are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. Okay, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
Silly George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow! This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. We did it! And I didn't even make one mistake! That was excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. Hooray! Stuck. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, push. Great job, everyone. What a beautiful Christmas tree. Are you ready to decorate it now? Oh, yes. What shall we start with? I think we should start with the tinsel because it's sparkly and shiny and it matches my dress. That's a great idea. Careful, Peppa. You're turning Daddy Pig into a Christmas tree too. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. That's all right, Peppa. Let's hang the rest of the decorations together. Peppa and George help Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig decorate the rest of the tree. They hang some colourful baubles and some more shiny sparkly tinsel and some flashing fairy lights. There, we're all finished. Well done, everybody. It looks amazing, but I can't help but feel that something is missing. <laughs> That's right, George. There's no star on the top of the tree. It's not in the decorations box. I wonder where it could have gone. We can't have a Christmas tree without a star on top. <coughs> George, where are you going? <coughs> what a wonderful idea, George. We can put your dinosaur on the top of the Christmas tree instead. Rawr! I think that this is the best Christmas tree we've ever had.